Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to review the two Star Wars Battlefront games for the PS4. But I'm not going to review them fully. I'm just going to analyze how well they manage if played offline. Star Wars Battlefront might be good games if you play them in multiplayer, but how well do the games manage if you play them offline? Well, playing the two games offline made me realize that even without microtransactions, the games still are good. Not fantastic, but still good. The graphics in the game still are alluring and attract you into playing. You get 13 maps, each set on a different planet so that the amazing graphics are even better showcased, and you get 9 game modes. You get different weapons, you can fly ships, but without a plot, the game lacks some serious replayability. I mean, sure, the game looks amazing and plays amazing, but without a narrative, at least for my case, the game doesn't offer anything to keep me wanting more. Especially since the experiment consists of playing them offline, so without other people and without anyone else but me. So if reviewers say that you lose interest after the first hours of playing, when playing it offline, you lose interest even faster. And just playing the battles alone, and even setting your own parameters, without playing with other players, well, it just feels empty and you get bored easily. Star Wars Battlefront 2, unlike its predecessor, has a plot. It's not really something, it's not bad either, it just exists. It's pretty short, I finished it in around 4 hours, but even so, I appreciate that it exists. The story missions revolve around two things. Laser shootouts on the ground and laser shootouts in space. On the ground you can equip different sorts of guns, all of them feeling nice, and since these guns don't shoot bullets, reload times consist of waiting for your weapon to cool down, and while it cools down, if you press the shoot button at the right time, you get a spur of shooting without waiting to reload, and it makes you feel cool. Also just like in the first Battlefront game, you get to use different sorts of cards as power-ups. They range from different sorts of grenades, to boosting the recharge time of your abilities like reload time or the time it takes to regenerate your health, and they are very useful. Another thing you like in the game is the integration of multiple characters. During those 4 hours of gameplay, you won't just play with either but with Luke Skywalker and blast your way through Stormtroopers as a Jedi, you'll play as Princess Leia, Han Solo and Lando. And each character has different abilities. Luke can use the Force and has three Force related abilities and same goes for Kylo Ren. Princess Leia can put up shields and Han Solo can dash into enemies. And the dashing is one of the worst I've seen in video games, since the characters don't even make contact. And, well, the, the dashing isn't that great when you look at it. You'll also get into ATSTSs and ATATs, and in space, you'll get into X-Wings and TIE Fighters, oh, and this car. And you also get to fly the Millennium Falcon. Falcon. Each ship has different abilities. The space battles consist on dogfights and look and feel great. What I appreciate in the two games is that you don't need an internet connection to have fun in the games. You can have split screen battles and you can set up the parameters for a battle and imitate the online experience with bots. It's not as fun but, well, you can imitate the experience with bots. And that's something. You can also play locally with your friend in split screen. All in all, it's... they are pretty good games. The second one is short on the story, the first one doesn't have a story and, well, it doesn't have replayability, you get bored in the first hour of playing. But in the second one, well, it has more replayability because, because it has a plot. I don't recommend the games if you aren't going to play the games online. 
but I have to say that Battlefront 2 is way better as a single player game than Battlefront 1 because well in Battlefront 2 at least you have a story it's short but you have one in Battlefront 1 you have nothing just some bot bat which get tiresome easily so to summarize Star Wars Battlefront 1 unless you are getting the game to play it for the online battles just forget it you can play single player battles but they are not worth your time without a plot the game is boring in spite having tremendous graphics and really good gameplay without a plot it gets you nowhere Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the other hand has a plot and it's good but the downside of it is that it's short so as an offline package the game isn't worth the price tag. but if you would get it cheap and you would want to play the game only for the offline well the game packs a decent amount of fun though a short amount of fun but decent enough I mean the gameplay is great and the graphics are great and it has a plot which is good so if you would ever want to play a battlefront game of the playstation 4 generation for some reason offline well then go for star wars battlefront 2 it has a plot it's good so it puts to good use the great graphics and the great gameplay okay so this was the video if you liked it please see the like button and subscribe if you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible click the join button and choose one of the perks you have the link to the join button in the description also you can follow me on twitch instagram or discord if you want and if you want to see another video of mine just wait till i stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos thanks for watching